Hello, and welcome to our UNLV College of Fine Arts virtual tour. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope we can give you some insight into where it is we practice our craft and some of the things that really make our spaces so special. We're going to start our tour at the Judy Bailey Theater, which is home to many of UNLV's performing arts groups. This 550-seat space features a raked auditorium, a fully rigged proscenium stage, and a thrust apron that can be used as an orchestra pit. Perfect for a wide variety of productions, the Judy Bailey Theater features plush, comfortable seating and top-notch lighting equipment. Several of our programs utilize this space for their craft, including theater, music, and dance. The Nevada Conservatory Theater, connected with our Department of Theater, has more than 2,000 season subscribers and 18,000 attendees each year. They're among the most notable and best attended arts organizations in Las Vegas. What makes them particularly special is how they feature professional actors, designers, and directors that work alongside our advanced graduate and undergraduate students that are recruited from around the country. The Nevada Conservatory Theater does between five and six shows a year, typically five straight plays and one musical, or three straight plays and two musicals, depending on the programming for each year. While we're still talking about theater, I would be remiss not to mention the Theater Technology and Design Program that utilizes the amazing scene shop located directly behind the stage of the Judy Bailey Theater. The next area that regularly uses our Judy Bailey Theater would be our Department of Dance for their initial concert each semester, which is a faculty choreographed show. Also represented in our Judy Bailey Theater are our spring opera productions, usually a full multi-act opera with full orchestra, special lighting design, and set. Next, we have our flashlight sculpture, a major wayfinding point for the UNLV campus and conveniently located near the heart of our fine arts area. This flashlight is a steel sculpture by Claes Oldenburg and Kuzia von Bruggen and was dedicated in 1981 and is located directly between the Judy Bailey Theater and our next stop, Artemis Ham Concert Hall. Artemis Ham Concert Hall serves as a cultural home for a wide range of performances, from light opera, folk, and pop music to ballet, jazz, and full symphonic productions, and seats 1,832. This venue is home to a lot of guest artists that come to campus, but is also a favorite performing venue of some of our larger orchestral ensembles. Now we'll travel backstage to the Ham Hall Green Room, where students and guest artists warm up and prepare for their performances in the hall. Now we'll move on to our Lee and Thomas B. Music Center, which is the newest addition to the School of Music. The building was completed in the spring of 2001 and contains more than 35,000 gross square feet of space. We're going to start off at the Doc Rando Recital Hall, which is where our juniors, seniors, and graduate musicians do their recitals. This hall seats 300, and it's also home to our beautiful pipe organ. This pipe organ, which was made possible by a generous donation from Maureen Jackson Smith, an organ aficionado, is comprised of 10,000 pieces which were handmade in Hamburg, Germany and shipped to Las Vegas. It took four years to build. Doc Rando is home to a broad range of concerts on top of student recitals, including the Baroque Festival concerts, Next Tech concerts, which are new music performances, and all of these artists prepare for their performances in the Doc Rando Green Room. In the B Music Center, you'll also find our large chorus rehearsal room, our large rehearsal room for band and orchestra, two chamber music rehearsal rooms, five of our faculty studios, a state-of-the-art recording studio and music technology lab, and a modern music library that houses all scores, recorded materials, and current reference resources. You may notice as we pass through several of these rooms that there are safety items around the classrooms, and this is largely in part because of our Consortium for Health and Injury Prevention, which is a multidisciplinary research group of faculty that have made it their mission to educate our students, faculty, and community about health-related injuries in the arts. Focusing primarily on the needs of musicians, dancers, and actors, they hope to bring increased understanding of performing artists' occupational health issues, including neuromusculoskeletal health, vocal health, psychological health, nutritional health, and hearing conservation. 
Next, we're moving on to our Altaham Fine Arts Building, and as we enter from Maryland Parkway, we see a painting directly in this lobby. That painting was done by the chair of dance, Louis Cavouras. Altaham is a special hub for us in the College of Fine Arts. It houses art, dance, music, and theater arts. Special features for this building include many music practice rooms, art studios, ceramics facilities, a dance studio, a theater, the Donabium Fine Arts Gallery, theater set design studios, outdoor sculpture studio, general purpose classrooms, and administrative faculty offices. We start off by entering one of our music classrooms set up with a fully smart classroom for students to learn about music theory and music history. And we'll sneak over for a moment to one of the special places for our Department of Theater, the upstairs level of our Black Box Theater, to get a special look at the lighting grid and specialized seating. The Black Box Theater is home to additional Nevada Conservatory theater shows, has flexible seating arranged on movable risers with a maximum capacity of 220 people, and has a green room and dressing rooms directly off stage. Next, we have our dance department office, where you'll always be greeted with a friendly smile and the friendly skelly man. Our current dance facilities include five studios with a student experimental dance theater and performances scheduled in two concert theaters, a 4,500 square foot dance studio slash theater with the finest dance floor available is in the dance wing with eight faculty offices an administrative complex dance costume storage and production studio and a 2000 square foot rehearsal studio. Live music is used to accompany our ballets. Next, we'll take a look at two specialized rooms within our School of Music. The first is our piano laboratory, where many of our music majors take class piano. The next is our read room, which is a very important facility for our woodwind students. Next, we have our Paul Harris Theater, named after the Emeritus Director for the Department of Theater. It's a 99-seat house that's used primarily as an acting studio, but is also home to the One Acts Festival, the 10 Minutes Play Festival, and a senior theater production each year. It's also home to second stage theater productions. These special works are run by the Second Stage Theater Company, which is an entirely student-run theater company here on campus. Our Donna Beam Fine Arts Gallery is free and open to the public on a regular basis throughout the year. Its exhibition schedule offers works of student and faculty artists from the region and throughout the United States and from lands across the globe. The mission of our Donna Beam Gallery is to stimulate and enrich the cultural vitality of a diverse UNLV community and all who visit the gallery. Next, we'll travel to our Department of Art, starting with our 2D and 3D design studio, complete with laser cutter. Now we are in the woodworking shop for our sculptural practices majors. And we'll take a step outside into our UNLV sculpture yard complete with foundry. Moving on to the metalworking shop, onward to the drawing studios. Now we have the dark room for our photography majors where they engage in traditional black and white photography processing. And we will head into the proper dark room itself. Lights on in a most unusual fashion. This is the room that's usually dimly lit in red for detailed photo processing. And we have our special light machines to photo process on our paper. Next, we have our drawing studios where our painting, drawing, and printmaking students will work with professors like Tim Bavington and lead onward to our sculptural practices area extended, our ceramic zone where we have our kilns our ceramics molds, and our ceramics room, home to our specialized coursework, and all our glazes. And now after a view of this bonus kiln, we'll move on to the printmaking room, where students study intaglio, lithography, and screen printing. As we're currently in Grant Hall, I would also like to mention that this building is home to our graphic design computer labs and print design studio. Our graphic design labs are completely Mac and we'll have all of the software that our students need to complete all of their coursework. In addition, the print production lab, which our students have access to, provide opportunities for vinyl cutting, 3D printing, and variety of package design. 
The Marjorie Barrick Museum is a special treasure for us in both the College of Fine Arts and for UNLV at large. It is a gallery that's free and open to the public and has an incredible showing of artworks throughout the year. The Barrick is currently expanding its exhibition programming to reflect the diverse nature of our community. They're broadening their collection by working to include artists from backgrounds that have been historically marginalized by American art museums. Their curatorial programming is strengthened by collaborative partnerships with community collectives such as the Women of Color Arts Festival. Aware that museums have historically not equally welcomed all members of the community, they work with our campus partners such as The Intersection, UNLV's Academic Multicultural Resource Center, as well as off-campus partners like the Clark County School District to create interdisciplinary programs that make a space for a multitude of voices to participate in an equitable environment. Our next stop is Flora Dungan Humanities in the true heart of campus. It's a primary administrative building for all of UNLV, housing the president's office, but it's also home to our Department of Film. There, we're very proud to present our fully renovated 4K full-size Dolby Atmos screening rooms. They're located on the first floor, and we have two classrooms with beautiful new screens and an absolutely magnificent full-size theater where film screenings happen each week. Also located in FDH is the Film Department Equipment Room, which is complete with industry professional equipment, accessories, and supplies, which can be checked out by students dependent on area and level of study. Also there is our sound stage, which is available to all undergraduate students working on approved film and video projects. Additionally, we have a laboratory of 50 workstations loaded with Final Cut Pro, Avid Media Composer, Soundtrack Pro, and the Adobe Creative Suite available for post-production. There's also an ADR and Foley room available for student use. We have two filming studios available. And as part of our coursework, we do have a traditional reel-to-reel -reel film course available. Also a fun treasure within our film department is our Howard Hughes Motion Picture Collection. This is an extensive collection donated by the Howard Hughes Estate and the Howard Hughes Corporation. Spanning nearly half a century, the Howard Hughes Motion Picture Records focus on Hughes Motion Picture Enterprises from the late 1920s through the mid-1970s and include an impressive range of heterogeneous and distinctive materials related to the art, technology, economics, and social impact of American cinema. Next, we head on over to our SOG Architecture Building, which contains loft-type design studios, computer labs, shops for models and materials, and faculty offices. It's also home to our Architectural Studies Library and the Architecture Exhibition Hall, which are located within this building. The Architectural Studies Library is a treasured regional resource full of up-to-date periodicals and extensive research materials available to our young architects, where the School of Architecture invites world-renowned architects to share their knowledge of the industry with our students and community. Throughout the building, you'll find a broad number of classrooms varying in size from our large lecture hall to our smaller classroom spaces. Students also have access to a fully equipped wood shop for hands-on architectural experiences for design-build work and for their solar decathlon team-up with the College of Engineering. One of my favorite things about the School of Architecture is that the hallways are like a dedicated gallery to student artwork. So as you travel through, you really get to experience and immerse yourself in the design possibilities and perspectives of our student body. Our students have a shared second year studio space that rotates out between our architectural studies, interior architecture and design, and landscape architecture majors. But once they graduate to third and fourth year, they each get their unique cubicle space where they can store their projects and work with their materials at will. It's also important to mention that our architecture building is home to our many architectural student professional organizations, which allow our architecture students the opportunity to begin networking for their careers right when they start here at UNLV. And there are student orgs for every facet of our architectural studies program. That concludes our tour of the College of Fine Arts and our facilities. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that at some point you can come and visit our campus in person and see these beautiful spaces for yourself.